Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, we're going to be converting decimals into mixed numbers. And we have four examples that we're going to go through together in order to get this down. So up top in blue, I have think, where does my decimal end and then simplify if needed. So those are the steps we're going to take. So keep those in mind as we work through these four problems. So let's jump right into number one here where we have four and eight tenths. So four is going to be our whole number. Now eight tenths is going to be our fractional part of the mixed number. So think, where does that decimal end? Well, it ends in the tenths place. So that's going to be our denominator. And our numerator is just going to be what's to the right of the decimal, this 8. So 4 and 8 tenths is how you would say this decimal. 4 and 8 tenths is how you would say that mixed number. They are equivalent. One's a decimal, one's a fraction, though. Now, once you get to the fractional part of the mixed number, you can simplify if it applies. And here, we have a common factor of 2. So we can divide our 8 and 10 by 2, and we get to 4 and 4 fifths. You never simplify the whole number portion of the mixed number. That stays as is, and we keep it as a 4. So 4 and 4 fifths. Number two, we have 13 and 32 hundredths. So we always keep our whole number as is. And then where does that decimal end? Well, tenths, hundredths, it ends in the hundredths place. So that's going to be our denominator. And then whatever number's to the right of that decimal, that's our numerator. So we have a 32 here. So 32 hundredths. And again, we always look to simplify when we have fractions, and we keep our whole number the same, so it is a 13. So any common factors between 32 and 100? Yes, we can start breaking it down and divide each by two, they're both even, or there's a greater, greater common factor than two, we can divide both of them by four. And we get 32 divided by 4 is 8. And 100 divided by 4 is 25. So we get 13 and 8 25ths. Number 3, we have 9 and 6 hundredths. So 9 is our whole number, keep as is. Let's see how far over our decimal goes. Well, it goes to the tenths, hundredths place tenths and then hundredths. So it ends in the hundredths, that's our denominator. And what number's to the right of the decimal? It's a six, so we have nine and six hundredths. Let's simplify. We can divide both six and 100 by two. Two is a common factor. So divide both by two, and we end up with nine and three fiftieths. And then lastly, number four, we have 29 holes. And this goes to the tenths, hundredths place. So hundredths is our denominator there. And the number to the right of the decimal is a 75. So 75 is our numerator. And now simplify. So keep our whole number the same. And a, the greatest common factor between 75 and 100 we can divide both of these by 25, and we end up with 75 divided by 25 is 3, and 100 divided by 25 is 4. So there you have it. There's how you convert a decimal to a mixed number. Hopefully that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.